What's up guys? Welcome to another round of how the firing pin safety plunger works. Apparently I had to make this video because uh, somebody by the name of Chad Kramer had to leave me a message saying, wow man, my modification to the trigger bar, that's dangerous. Whoa. And uh, my understanding of the firing pin safety is it's wrong. So I figured let's go over this. Let's Let's figure out what's wrong or what's right here. All right, uh, notice exhibit A. This here is the firing pin safety plunger. They call it a plunger because you can use it like a plunger. Like when you plug your toilet, you just plunge, plunge, plunge. It moves up and down. And what happens is when this plunger is up via spring pressure, the firing pin cannot move forward and strike around. So that is how the safety plunger works. When it's up, the firing pin cannot go through and strike around. When you pull the trigger, that trigger bar, which I'll show you in a minute, pushes this plunger down like so, and then allows the, the firing pin to travel all the way through and strike the round. So that is how this works. I don't care what Chad says. He's like the new Karen. You know, instead of Karen, we'll call him Chad's. So now let's move on to the fire the trigger bar that's so unsafe now don't get me wrong i'm not saying this is the best way to go about it but if you have that problem where your slide if your slide won't go on your build because it's running into the trigger bar you're gonna have to do one of two things you're gonna either have to file that down which i've seen people do they put them in a drill and spin them and grind them down or you're gonna have to grind that down one of the two. You're going to have to do something or your gun won't work. So obviously I chose filing this down because it's a lot easier. Now, he says that's unsafe. Well, here's the problem with that. If I file this down to the point where it screws it up and it no longer works, guess what's going to happen? It won't ever shoot ever again. Why? Because this, this trigger bar will be too short to actually depress that safety plunger which would mean when you pull the trigger is not going to allow the firing pin to strike. So to tell me that this modification is dangerous, I would say you're completely wrong. It's actually just the opposite. If you screw up this modification, you'd make it so your gun never shoots again. Therefore, it would be too safe. It'd be junk. In which case, you'd have to replace this trigger bar and start over. So that is how it works. I don't care what any Chad wants to say. And this gun does shoot. And it does work. So I guess there's that too. So the moral of this story is, kids, don't be dipping and dapping when you don't know what's happening. Peace out, y'all.